Hello guys, today in this video how I did the rudder control cables using Nicopress and awesome tip inside. So stay tuned. Please note, this is not a tutorial and I highly recommend on reading AC43.13-1B on page 7-33 before you start. Let's move on the items I used for my rudder control cables. Galvanized steel control cable, a cable holder, shackle, thimble, zinc plated sleeves, scissors for the heat shrink, nickel press swagging tool, and yes, Clico tool as well. Okay, let's start. First, thread the cable into the sleeve and make a loop. Then, insert the thimble and tighten the cable on it. Don't worry, I will explain exactly what we did with the Clico tool. I really recommend to insert the shackle into the thimble first because without the cable, it's thinner and easier to insert. And here comes the Clico tool. On the YouTube channel called Home Build Help, I saw a brilliant tip about using the Clico tool to hold the cable to the thimble until you set the sleeve. I must say that this is much, much more comfortable to do it as you can see. These cables are not very elastic and the Clico tool makes life more easier. My cable's diameter is an eighth and the full strength standing on 2,300 pounds. And according to the AC, I needed to do three presses on the sleeve. Starting in the center of the sleeve and the second press should be on the thimble side and the third should be on the back side of the sleeve. I put two sleeves for redundancy and when all done, I put the heat shrink to cover the tail of the cable. This is it guys, if you liked the video, please subscribe and see you in the next one.